My view is that the new energy world starts with, with customers. It starts with understanding who your customers are and what their needs are and delivering against it. In the context of energy, we, you know, we don't produce, and we don't generate or produce energy. We're not a traditional utility company, so we don't own pipes and wires. What we are is a customer-focused company. When you look around direct energy, you know, you'll find literally thousands of people who are focused on understanding what our customer needs are today and tomorrow and delivering against it. The basis for competition uh, had, f has been, for the vast majority of time that we've had competitive markets, has been around price. Yes. And I think that's changing. Yes. I think uh, it's changing because people are realizing that actually you can do something about your consumption, about your use, the volume side of the equation. I think for the longest amount of time people thought there was nothing you could do about it because it was too hard or too complicated or whatever. And it's not. Technology is uh, an enabler that's significantly changing that. But I think the basis of competition is going to be about consumption. And what that means is companies like mine and others engaging customers, you know, truly engaging customers in a way that's understandable, that's easy to digest and actionable. Yes. And combining it with the ability to do something with that insight. So to take the actions and what those lead, what that combination leads to is changing your energy consumption. Yeah. Our economics are not driven off the sale of, of energy, right? We, we're not a conventional energy company in the sense that we generate or produce energy. Our economics are driven off our ability to attra attract and retain customers. You know, I think that the vision itself is compelling. Yes. So when we when we talk internally and when we talk with our customers about helping you to use less energy, buy less of what we sell, I mean, that's what our billboards have uh, today, uh, that's a pretty compelling proposition. Direct energy is increasing our, our digital relationship with our customers. You, know, you and I, we all have been experiencing that for the last five years. Yeah. We're, we're interacting with companies that provide products and services in a digital way, in a more engaged way in so many other aspects of our lives that all we're doing is taking that experience that we're used to and understand to uh, the business of supplying electricity and natural gas. And it's technology that's changing things. Yeah. I grew up as a technophobe. I know I wasn't <laughs> particularly interested in opening up the radio when I was a kid. My brother was, <laughs> but I found no particular enjoyment in doing any of that because it was complicated. Yeah. I just, I was just something I couldn't get my head around. And here we are, you know, you know decades later, and uh, I think the realization is that this technology has made what was once complicated simple. Mm -hmm. You know, it's actually easy to engage uh, when it's on a phone, and it's, you know, it's, it takes milliseconds to understand what you're looking at because yes. it's intuitive. Yeah. And it's a couple of swipes with your finger on the phone to do something. And I think that's pretty powerful. That, that's convenience, it's simplicity, and it leads to real engagement. But I think it starts with a non-hierarchical environment, a place where everyone's equal, where everyone's idea counts. We don't have offices. Everyone sits out on the floor, as do I. As do you. Uh, and I think that creates a culture where actually my idea does matter. It does count, and it's as good as anybody else's. I don't think anyone could have imagined how we would have been leading our lives today just five years ago. And what's really interesting in that business is that today we are actually seeing builders, we partner with of course to put the new H back in, actually inquiring about some of this home energy management, uh, installation of smart appliances, potentially also the installation of PV and solar. Uh, that tells me that 
If we can crack that at the point of new construction, I think you'll start to see that interest really take off. We will see uh, significantly more uh, consumption reduction on the part of customers. And I think there are two things that need to happen. Smart meters, so real-time data, and the piece that I've been saying for the whole time, retail energy companies engaging customers in their energy consumption. And I think that's pretty powerful. I consider everything we're doing around helping customers to engage in their own energy consumption, disaggregating it at an appliance level, uh, being able to provide customers with real insights and data to compare their consumption with themselves, their consumption at an appliance level with, um, with, with other uh, sort of like uh, aggregate sets of customers, mm -hmm. um, being able to uh, you know, predict equipment failure, um, uh, being able to um, uh, uh, combine all of this insight with actual tools that are all loaded onto your phone to control all of these things. So that's the, the connected home concept, home energy management, home automation. All of these things are what I would call grid edge technologies. And we're working with any number of companies uh, in partnership as well as our own uh, investments that we're making uh, to bring this uh, to bring this to life, and, I, and it's and it's 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 a very significant part of what Direct Energy is doing today. We have a compelling vision, um, and we've got a very very strong team, and. You know, I happen to have been lucky enough to be with Direct Energy for 13 years, so I know a lot of the team. And you're actually bringing in um, everybody's ideas to the table and not just mine or yours or uh, the most senior people in the company. That's when sparks really fly. And I, I'm a very, very strong believer in empowerment. And I think that if we hadn't operated like that, some of the vision that we have today and some of the technologies that we're developing and the propositions we're developing wouldn't get developed because I wouldn't have thought of them. <laughs> but because they're coming from our team and we have an environment yeah. where you know, our brightest and best people are bringing ideas to the table and being able to execute on them, we are where we are today. Well, let me ask that another way. What would be the advice that Badar today would give Badar on the first day on the job? Empower your team. And that's the advice that I would give to anybody in any job.